Hi everyone, this is Iris and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this Rosie the Riveter look which is actually shown in the Beyonce Why Don't You Love Me music video. This is part of a series that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy and watch the rest of this tutorial. If you um, like these styles that I'm doing, please let me know by rating and leaving me a comment. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to curl all of my hair and I'm just going to curl it with a standard one inch curling iron so that I can work with it a little bit easier later on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section the front side of my hair and this is the pin curls that are going to stick out of the bandana. As you can see I'm kind of shaping it into a U shape and then I'm going to pin it down like a pin curl as the curl cools. I'm going to do this on the section right under that and the reason why I'm choosing to do this is because I'm going to style this later on. Once I apply the bandana it might mess up these pin curls so that'll just kind of help later on. I angled my section like so and then I'm going to start working on curling it and then pinning it as well. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side in a little bit. Um, right now I'm just pinning it down. I'm not making it fancy yet. So I'll have one pin, two pins, three and four. And then on the other side I'm just going to split this into two, the top and bottom doing the exact same thing and pinning it down. So now I have all these pin curls on my head. And then I'm going to work on just curling and then putting on my makeup to match Beyonce's from her music video. Then I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail. You can do a ponytail, you can do a bun, you can do a French twist, whatever works for you. I did mine in a half ponytail and then I'm just pinning it down just to make my hair flat because I have a lot of hair. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bandana and it seems like Beyonce's bandana is much larger than a regular one because it took me a really long time to conceal all of my hair but I was finally able to just tuck it all under. Then I'm going to take down my pin curls once they've cooled and I'm going to work on removing all of the frizz and also spraying it with hairspray and styling it with more care. Starting with the top, I'm adding the hairspray to get rid of all the little flyaways that I have. Then I'm going to tease it just for a little bit of body and lift. And I'm going to start pin curling it to the side so that it kind of falls sideways. And then I'm pinning it a little bit forward, closer to my hairline. I'm going to go ahead and stick the bobby pins in a way that conceals. The next curl is coming up the opposite direction and then at the same time I'm twisting it back and pushing it forward and now I'm going to have two pin curls. Then the third one is going to be curled and pinned right behind my ear. Now this one that's closer to the ear you have to be really careful because it will tend to stick out because of your ear. And you really want it to look very very flat. Next thing I'm doing is I'm pin curling the other side and I'm making sure that the loop is right next to the bandana and then I'm concealing the bobby pin. I have just one more pin curl to go after this but again it's really important that you make these pin curls look really flat on your head. And this is the very last one. It's pinned forward and so I'll have two on one side and three on the other making sure to again conceal these bobby pins. I'm going to be adding some hairspray and making sure that all the pin curls are flat and there are no flyaways. If you find any flyaways or anything like that just go ahead and work on that. So that's pretty much it. We are done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know again if you guys want me to continue doing this series. Please leave a comment and rate and I look forward to making the next video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've been inspired.